There once was a girl lived in a shell, sang sad songs, played her bells, had no friends who she could tell about this new song. She ran so well. Uh. One day she woke, decided she'd leave, packed her bags, all her belongings. She started walking away from the sea. And eventually she came to a path and decided she wanted to stay all the way back. So she decided she'll set a camp and take a camel in the morning. Unfortunate for that little girl, she had stepped onto a dark and bizarre world. Just as the monster's tongue had curled around her body, she was rescued without a warning. So she decided she to leave, had to quit, got it all so fast, it made her sick. Fell right back onto her knees, and that's when the hero came through the trees. As he approached, she asked if she was okay, but the girl was speechless and nothing to say. She never seen an eyes in such a fright, and it was beautiful in every way. Ever since the first day they both met, they haven't spent a second apart yet. You know how they spend their days and nights, so the nature's tight, cause we're in everything's alright. Everything's alright. Everything's alright. Everything's alright. Yeah! Thank you guys, I'm stuck here.
y'all may not have killed a man today. Gotta hope nobody saw. I just got off of work and I was walking out the bar. They must have seen me from afar. Teach you a lesson now. stage my next performer. Uh, he's a, a, a fellow that I've known for quite some time, um, pushing 14 years or so, maybe maybe a little over that. Uh, but uh, he's a local celebrity, a local talent, a singer-songwriter. Uh, he can be found on the internet, but we'll get on, get on that here in a second. Uh, but I'd like to welcome to the stage Mr. James Ryder. James Ryder on the couch. Big red cheese. Good to see you. On the chair. Did you know that about all the Waynes? All the guys with the real name Wayne that have murdered like over 150 people? I did, but I also know that Albert Wayne the Fish was not a real murderer. It was only just Albert the Fish. Are you now or have you ever been a member of the Communist Party? Not 
Yeah. Well, I don't know. Uh, uh, it was just a thing. I don't remember the atheist party. Uh, Is that the I got to try everything because. Uh, uh, Is that what, uh, when you were in college? Uh, what was your major? Uh, I played with myself. I was a masturbatory major. I have a BA in masturbation. Really? Yeah. Uh, so you haven't even mastered that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, I, got two minute, uh, I got the two minute. Uh, method Don't now. fuck with me. This is my couch. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> All right. So, so uh, uh, art major, yeah. Yeah, I was an art major. All right. All right. Uh, and uh, and see now, where it got me. Now, uh, yeah. Now you're here tonight I because of physics. You're here tonight because of what? Science. The science of music. Uh, yeah, to play music. That's right, that's right. And, and you write a lot of what you play. I do. I and do. Uh, uh, I write it with my dick. Yeah. Uh, like literally, it, it jizz. Wow. Okay, so. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> so, they're, all right. they're okay. Uh, the covers that you sing, those are Pat. Those are Pat Boone numbers, right? You know, I did JK LOL. Keep talking louder, worry, eventually uh, we'll hear you. I don't know any uh, Pat Boone songs per se. I do know. A couple Pat Boone covers like Crazy Train, and you know, yeah. he, right. he covered Ozzy's Crazy Train. A lot of people don't know that about Pat Boone. Nice. He did an album called Crazy No More, Train. No More Mr. Boone. Nice Guy. Oh, that's song. right. Uh, that's right. It's, it's He's uh, got Soundgarden. Uh, and, uh, right. It's that local uh, establishment. Uh, he did. Uh, I think he even what? did uh, some Slayer on there as well. Nice. But Slayer. Don't quote me on that. Yeah, I want to. All right. Well, uh, are, are you any good? You Am I any good? Yeah. Let's see. Awesome. Let's see. All right, James Ryder, everybody. Oh, you, uh, uh, yeah, Chloe. Oh, you, oh. My guitar is all set. That was awesome. Uh, that was like full mouth, too. Chloe. That was beautiful. Yeah, was the second time I've done that. To that. To this camera. Thank Oh yeah, you don't have to put reverb on a guitar. Just make it sound like the voice of God. Well, that sure as hell doesn't sound like the voice of God. The fan. Take a look at the sound guy, Franco over there, handling that shit. His little radio head shirt and Pac-Man hat. You want me out? You cut it out. Don't have to say you knew you wanted it this way. You put me down so fucking easy. Like you done for you till we get. I heard it's over. I guess it's true. Ah, it's just a shame it didn't come from you. I'm out of my head. I'm out of my mind. Oh, I don't think I can come back this time. I don't think I'm really poor. Because we're just so bad for action. I've heard all the lies before. Yeah, I think it's time to put you on the edge of the bed. Not much trouble. The sound fight is on that door, and then having that door, you just pretty much got to. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get a little bit of a bed. Why am I black? I'm trying to taste your income. It's all me. It's my own fault now. Yeah, I was in for the dance of God. Takes you to take me. I know it's true. Wow, I'm just as mad as you had you. I'm out of my head. Yeah, I'm out of my head. Well, I don't think I can go back to the sky. I don't think I can go back to the sky. Because we're in the sky. 
inside of one giant white van, right? It's like everyone there is just trying to fuck you or sell you something. It's horrible. If you're in a city like that, you need to be careful. Because if you have sex with somebody, you're sleeping with every person they've ever slept with. Which means a couple of things. It means you need to be careful, and it means that Kevin Bacon has AIDS, and it means that I don't know how math works, right? I was in Vegas! You're in Vegas! You use sex to sell everything. You're walking down the street, and there's just a billboard, it's just like, titties and Duracell batteries! <laughs> the message is just like, think about titties when you think about batteries, and you'll buy Duracell batteries, right? Mm, yeah. It it's fucked up, it gets in your head that the advertising oh works, it's like, it's still a thing, right? Oh Kirby, I was there, I'm really jealous of, uh, like, gay dudes. Because, no, society never fucks with gay dude in that specific way, you know what I mean? Like, gay dudes never walking down the street, and there's just some billboard, some dick bulge, it's like, eat an Arby's, motherfucker! Mm. 
you eat at Arby's and think about dicks when you eat at Arby's and have a roast beef sandwich, man. It's never happened. Arby's and dicks. Arby's and dicks. And I'm not even going to make that joke. Throw the gay bash at your church. Oh. Did you say what? No, he said if I wanted a gay bash, I'd go to church. It's a. I can't do it anymore. You can't do cocaine. Cocaine is the worst drug. So co cocaine is the easiest drug to get caught doing. So whatever you're doing, cocaine, you got like three or four forms of ID out in front of you telling you to show up. You should drink gin. Cops take the door and be like, that's not me. All right, that's clearly me. You're not mixing the whiskey and the gin now. How about you guys? I'm walking up the door. Hey, Stevie Ray. I think there's some fingerprints all over the inside of my head. That's where I started. This is crazy. This is like... Yeah. Talk about abortion! Don't go there. Don't go there. There's also some, uh, some fingerprints all over my gums. Oh, if you laugh at that part of the joke, you and I are in a very sad club together. It's called the 9 in the Morning Cocaine Club. It costs $80 to join. That was if you know Spanish. It's cheaper than the gym. It's cheaper than the gym. I can make jokes like that because I'm half white. Alright, um... <laughs> should, I, should I do one more and wrap it up? Uh, I want to tell a quick story before I, uh, before I move on to the couch. Uh, this is a story about the police. The institution, not the band, but fuck them too. Every breath you take, motherfucker. I was walking over to a show one time, uh, me and my buddy Joe Stats, another comic, and uh, I got jumped by a bunch of crazy fucking people underneath that whalebone thing under 35. He got attacked for no reason. It was just senseless violence. They didn't try to rob us. It wasn't a racial thing. You can tell it wasn't a racial thing because there were all different colors of them. It was this crazy, like, equal opportunity gang that attacked me. It was like kind of beautiful, like, like oh, the harmony. And then it touched me in the face. It was fucking weird. And uh, then I called the cops, right? The cops never showed up. That's a sad story. Because the thing is, the three or four times in your life you actually need a police officer, they're never fucking around, right? What if you have, a, you have weed in your pocket or something? Or you're one of those kids out there trying to protest and better the country, you know? The cops show up so fucking fast with just battering rants and tear gas and shit, and fucking TIE fighters and a Death Star, and just fucking <laughs> evil Nazis. They fucking murder you. So, so here's, here's what you do, right? If you're walking around tonight, you get attacked in the street, anything like that, here's what you do. You call the police, tell them wherever you are, Tell them that someone's having like some sort of hippie protest, oh, hot no, cool. fucking hip hop party. Tell them that somebody's occupying East MLK or some shit. They'll show up and kick everyone's ass. You just have to go home, get out of your fucking life. Thank you, I'm Jake Flores. Yeah. Fuck the police!